Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare 24 here bringing you another Minecraft Cold War BAFTA build tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the Soviet cruiser Admiral Falcon. Admiral Falcon was the second ship of the Soviet Navy Project 58 Gonzny class guided missile cruisers, also known as the Kinda class. Launched on November 19, 1961, the vessel served with the Russian Pacific Fleet from the later half of the 1960s through the 1980s. It undertook a tour of the Indian Ocean, which included visits to foreign ports. Admiral Falcon was transferred to the Russian Navy after the dissolution of the Soviet Union, but was decommissioned on June 30, 1993, and scrapped. So yeah, the um, Admiral Falcon here, obviously a very kind of lackluster service record, but a pretty cool ship that... Um, Soviet uh, Navy period and just a really cool cruiser again to add to our ever-growing Soviet fleets of um, ships and she did have one sister ship the uh, Grozny uh, which was um, the lead ship of the class so a uh, pretty cool ship and uh, should be a pretty awesome design to add into your worlds as a uh, nice kind of um, you know Soviet uh, naval ship um, but uh, with that, let's go ahead and dive in here to take a look here at the build. So going ahead and getting started with, we have the uh, bow of the ship here, nothing too crazy. It has a lot of armament. Again, the Soviets, they love to strap as much armament as they possibly can on these ships. So you have a lot of um, different missile launchers and um, just all kinds of stuff located up here. Um, then right behind it, you have these giant um, tubes here. They look like they're most likely... Um, the cruise missiles, again, anti-ship capabilities was with the main focus of this ship. So, again, probably some anti-ship um, cruise missiles there located there. Then we have our conning tower here, bridge, all the mass of all the different um, equipment and all that stuff like that. Uh, we have our first funnel here, the kind of the midship section, with some torpedo launchers and all that. We have our second uh, mass, and then we have our second funnel here, again, our little missile launcher system. Um, then the Big cruise missile launchers and then we have our two guns located here on the on the back deck so again in, tr in standard soviet fashion completely armed to the teeth everywhere they could they fit in a gun um but a really cool ship and should be an awesome one to add to your bafta build fleets with that though let's go ahead and move into the tutorial all right guys so moving into our first layer here we will be going ahead and start with layer one quick few things to mention here before we go ahead and get started with layer one if you do want to build a ship in the water you will need to make sure that you start this layer here at this level the blue concrete here representing that water level and you can see we have this red and another brick up sound stair that is going to be basically the start there of our bow of our ship. So you just want to make sure that that is all squared away and that is the correct height you have in the water. Obviously, if you're not building the water, um, then disregard, just build it how you normally um, would above land. Anyways, though, behind this uh, red and brick stair, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of red concrete. This is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24 red concrete blocks back. Um, if you're on Java, we're going to go ahead and then place down a upside down piston in this spot like so. If you're not on Java, we'll place down a red nether brick stair as an alternative. So, like that. Um, so again, you have either the option of the piston or a red nether brick upside down stair. Whichever one, depending on your version. We're going to go ahead and then place down a red nether brick top slab and then an acacia wood trap door. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a red stained glass pane and then a um, red nether brick wall here on the very end to go ahead and make our rudder. With that done, we're going to go ahead and then go ahead and place down a red nether brick top slab to off this last red concrete block, followed by a second top slab forward and then two upside down stairs. Same thing will be done over here, like so. We're going to go ahead and then take our lightning rods. We're going to go and go two lightning rods back from the slabs here, and then we're going to place down a birchwood slab on the end of those end rods. After we have that done, going forward, we're going to take our red concrete and we're going to build a row going forward. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 red concrete blocks. Uh, two red narrow brick walls, two red stingless panes, and then an acacia wood trap door. Same thing will be done over here on this side, just like this. And we'll run this all the way along the side here, like so. After that is all done there, that is going to basically complete what we have for layer one. You'll take the same thing, or you know, above, obviously both sides here are the exact same. Here is an aerial overview of what it should look like from the top down view. The only difference being that piston, depending on what game version you're on, can either be a red narrow brick up sound stair or a piston. With that though, that is going to conclude everything we have there for 
layer number one, and with that, let's move on up to layer number two. Moving into our next layer, we have layer two. For layer two to start with, we're gonna place down a stone block here, followed by an upside down stair going forward of this. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our stone blocks and build a row of one and two more additional blocks back. After we have that done, we want to go ahead and then take our stripped acacia wood, and we're going to place down a row of stripped acacia wood down the center line for the deck. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and we're going to go ahead and actually stop at 18 blocks, or sorry, 16 blocks, so one less than we had there, and then we're going to place down a stone block. So again, this row here um, of stripped acacia wood is going to be from this point here. All the way to the, the front here and that's gonna be 16 blocks in total then on the back here we're gonna place down an acacia wood plank which can be followed with a um, st stone block or a, a acacia wood slab I should say and then another acacia wood slab and then we're gonna place down two more stone blocks on the sides of these two stone blocks we're gonna place down anisite walls to both sides as well as we're gonna place down one two three acacia wood planks or slabs going toward the front or going on both sides there the stone block on each side of this one here then continuing on we're gonna go ahead and place down a stone brick wall on top of this piston here and then we're gonna place down a stone brick stair coming off that wall and then a acacia wood fence gate or rather I'm sorry a birch wood fence gate on top of this trap door opened up toward the stair on the sides of the wall and stair we're gonna place down a acacia wood slabs and then we're gonna place down a acacia wood slab coming off the fence gate and then a stone brick stair like this on top of that red their brick wall in the end there. We also want to go ahead and grab skeleton skulls on top of these slabs here and place down a skeleton skull like so. Like that. And then same thing over here. Then we're going to place down a block or skeleton skull here. And then same thing here on the back. We're going to do the same thing. These ones, however, are going to be angled at about a 45 degree angle. So just like that. And that will basically help form up the rear of our ship. And we're gonna go ahead and also place down an end rod on top of this wall here to finish that. We'll then take our birchwood signs and we're gonna go ahead and run along the sides of the slabs and the walls on the side of the ship going all the way up to this point here. And same thing will be done on the other side here. Just like this. And that will basically form our stern of our ship. Now with that all the way, we're going to go ahead and then take our stone blocks, and we're going to go ahead and go from this stone block here, we're going to go ahead and go forward 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and we're going to do the same thing over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're going to go ahead and then take our polished diorite, we're going to place down two blocks, going forward a polished diorite, and then 1, 2, 3 more stone blocks forward, 1, 2, 3. Then we're going to go ahead and take our inside walls, we're going to place down 1, 2, 1, 2, and then 1, 2, like gray stainless panes, one, two, like raised stainless panes, and then an iron trap door on both sides of the stone block. Now for my Java players, we're gonna go ahead and type in the command slash give at p minecraft colon debug underscore stick. So this command right here, press and enter will give you a glowing stick that'll look like this. You're gonna go ahead and go to the iron trap doors, you're gonna left click these till it gets selected open false, right click these, set them to true, and you can actually manually close those iron trap doors to help us shape the bow of the ship. Now, an alternative to this, if you don't have access to the debug stick, would it be either use virtual trap doors or really just disregard the iron trap doors because they don't really add a whole lot. They're very minimal in terms of um, what they add to the whole shaping. Um, also on the back here, uh, for my Java players, this piston here, we're going to left click until we get selected, extended, false. And then we're going to go ahead and right click that and get rid of that wood portion to help with the shaping there for the rear of the ship. Um, anyways though, once you have that all complete, that is going to wrap up everything we have for layer 2. Here again is an aerial overview of what it should look like for the top down view. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, which will be layer number 3. Moved into our next layer, we have layer 3. For layer 3 to get started with here, we're going to place down a acacia wood slab here, and a second one behind it. We're going to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull, come off the slab going forward, and an end rod on top of that to go ahead and make our bow. We then want to place down a birch wood sign on both sides of this first slab here. And then after that, we're going to place down a skeleton skull on the sides of both sides of the second one. We're going to go and then place down a skeleton skull at a slight angle here on top of these walls. And then in the middle space here, we're going to place down two daylight detectors. Make sure they stay on the day mode. And then we're going to go and place down a grindstone on top of these glass panes. They're going to be like that on both sides. In the middle here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair. Just so we don't forget, we're also going to place down an iron trap door on top of the stone brick stair. Like that. And then we're going to place down one and two skeleton skulls going back alongside those 
um, andesite walls. We then also want to go and place down a polished andesite um, stair. It's going to go right there. And once we get to this point, we have our kind of guided missile launcher here. So for this, we're going to place down a anvil that's going to go here. And then we want to place down a skeleton skull on both sides of the anvil. We then want to place down a birchwood fence gate here, skeleton skull on both ends of it. And then another birchwood fence gate on this side, again, a skeleton skull on both sides. And then we can also go ahead and place down an iron trap door here on top of the um, anvil, just like that to go ahead and finish that launcher off completely. Um, again, if you are on Java, we can go ahead and make a few um, also kind of additions here. And these are going to be done in the place of placing down these item frames underneath the the uh, skeleton skulls. So they kind of just help um, kind of keep that deck color a little bit more of that um, orangish color. And if you're doing that also, you can go ahead and open these fence gates up like this and actually place down a birchwood sign um, like that instead. And you can actually get the item frame underneath the deck right there as well. So kind of some possibilities you can go ahead and play around with to kind of keep that deck color a little bit nicer. A little bit more consistent, but that right there is what we have for my model right there. I think that looks the best. So that right there is that. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a stone block here, which is going to be followed with a andesite wall to both ends. We're going to go ahead and place down two more stone blocks back down the center, and again two andesite walls going back from the previous one. We want to place down item frames on all three of these andesite walls, and we're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves some white concrete, and we're going to place down white concrete blocks in those item frames. If you're on Java, we're going to go ahead and also place down our birchwood sign on the side here of these walls as well. Java allows us to place down item frames and signs in the same block space. So if you're on Java, you can go ahead and do this. If you're not on Java, you'll not be able to place down item frames and signs in the same block space. And if that's the case, just place down the item frames. We then want to place down a row of three of stone, followed by a second row of three. We're going to place down a stone block here. And then a uh, piston. Again, if you don't have access to the debug stick to the piston, I would just place down a stone full block instead. But for us on Java, we'll place down a piston. To the sides here, we're going to place down light gray beds for our torpedo launchers. And then we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five stone blocks going down the center here. To the sides, we're going to go ahead and place down end rods. One, two, one, two. And then there are andesite walls. One, two, three, one, two, three. After that, we're going to go ahead and take our item frames. We're going to place down three along the side here, three along this side. And we then want to go ahead and place down white concrete in each of those item frames. We're also going to go ahead and take our birchwood signs. And again, just like we did up in the front, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing back here, just with our signs. And same thing will be done over here as well. So just like that. Then going to our next section here, we're going to be going ahead and building our second cruise missile um, launcher. So this is going to be a anvil on top of here, birchwood fence gate to both sides, and skeleton skulls coming off the fence gates and the side of the anvils, just like this all the way across the build like so. After that, we're going to then place down a stone brick wall here on top of this block, and then we want to place down a stone brick stair, as well as a birchwood fence gate coming off the stone brick stair, opened up toward it like that. So it's going to look something like that there on the rear. And after we have that all done, we can go ahead and also take our debug stick and we can go and just right click our piston like we did before to go ahead and set our piston like that for that section there anyways though that is going to conclude everything we have for layer number three of the build um, and here's an aerial overview of what it looks like from the top down view as you can see it's really starting to come together we have a lot of our guns and weapon systems in place and also one quick thing on the back here on top of this anvil we're also going to place down iron trap door as well um, anyways though, that right there is it for layer number three, and with that, let's move on to layer number four. Moving on to our next layer, we have layer four. For layer four to start with, we're going to go ahead and go to this stone block here. We're going to place down a piston on top of this, followed by a skeleton skull at a slight angle, like so. Again, if you don't have access to uh, the debug stick, instead of a piston, you can place down a stone full block. It's not that big of a deal. We're going to go ahead and place down an item frame here, a black bed sideways like so, and then a birch with sign on the side there of that block like that to go ahead and finish it off. After we have that done, we want to go ahead and then place down a polished andesite stair behind that anvil, then a stone block. On the sides of these uh, blocks here, we're going to go ahead and place down two like gray stainless panes, like so. We then want to go ahead and place down a stone block behind this, or sorry, stone stair behind the stone block. And then we're going to go ahead and then place down a andesite wall going back from that. We're going to go ahead and then take our levers. We're going to place down two levers here for some gun positions in the midship. And we also want to go ahead and grab our um, acacia wood pressure plate and we're going to place down acacia wood pressure plate here. And also to keep that duck color, we can go ahead and also place down a stripped acacia wood block right here in this, underneath this wall. 
And also, again, for Java players, we can place down item frames underneath those um, levers like that to help kind of reinforce that color. Um, after that's done, we're going to then place down a stone block here, a second stone block back, a anise wall on both sides of this second block, and we then want to go ahead and place down a light gray stainless pane going forward from those anise walls. We then want to place down a stone stair here, then a anise wall, and we're going to go ahead and then place down a white bed to both sides of those blocks. Then on the very back here, we're going to go in very simply just place down a grindstone like so. And once you have that all done there, that is going to pretty much wrap up what we have there for um, layer number four of the build. And with that, we'll probably just go ahead and move into our last final layers. So just go ahead and knock out the rest of the ship and get this tutorial completed. All right, guys, so moving into our final layers, we have layers five through ten. For these layers to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down an anisite wall on top of this piston or this full block here. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a skeleton skull going forward from it. We then want to go ahead and place down a chain to both sides of the wall, and then we're going to place down an iron bar on top of those chains. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a st stone full block on top of this stone full block here. We're going to go ahead and place down an iron trap door here on this side, and doing the same thing we did before, we're going to go ahead and uh, manually close that iron trap door. Again, you can use a birchwood trap door as an alternative. And then we're going to place down a skeleton skull, come off both sides of that trap door like so. Go ahead and going up from this, we're going to place down an air stone block going up, and our birch wood fence gate to both sides, and a fence gate came off this block, opened up toward it, like so. We then want to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull that's going to go on top of these two fence gates, and we're also going to place down a lever that's going to be on the back here of this stone block. Going up from the lever, we're going to place down one and two cobwebs. On the very top here, we're going to place down an end rod, and then an end rod came off the side of this cobweb going back. After that, we want to go ahead and then uh, place down a stone brick wall here, and then a row of three of iron bars across. We also want to go ahead and place down an end rod coming off this iron bar here, and then a skeleton skull coming off this wall facing forward just like that. In addition, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves an item frame. We're going to place down an item frame that's going to come off of this fence gate with a stone block in the item frame, and again for my Java players, we'll place a birchwood sign on the side there as well. And also we'll take our debug stick again for my Java players and we'll go ahead and right click that um, piston right here to kind of get rid of that wood portion and um, finish that structure there. This section here we're going to place down an air stone block on top of this um, inside wall and then a skeleton skull coming off the side of the block facing up toward the front. Going to this section here we're going to go and then place down two inside walls like this and then we're going to place down a stone brick top slam to both sides of those walls. And then we're going to place down a skeleton skull going forward from those top slabs like that. And then a iron trap door on top of these walls here. Again, a near skeleton skull on the sides. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a stone block on top of this wall here. Skeleton skull like this. And we want to go ahead and then place down a lever come off this stone block going back. We're going to go ahead and take these anisite walls. We're going to go ahead and go up two more walls. A skeleton skull on this side. And on the other side here, we're going to place down a birchwood fence gate going back, as well as a skeleton skull come off that fence gate. We're going to go and then place down two light gray stainless panes on top here. Just so like this. Again, a skeleton skull on top. And on the very top here, we're going to place down a stone brick wall. And a iron bar to both sides of that stone brick wall. Behind the stone brick wall, we're going to place down an iron trap door. Then a birchwood fence gate came off this glass pane, opened up like so. And we then want to go ahead and place down two cobwebs going up, and then an end rod on the very top like that. Lastly, we're going to take our iron bars. We're just going to place down two iron bars that go up from this lever right here. They go ahead and complete that antenna on the back there. And with that all complete, that's going to wrap what we have up for that for the build here. Uh, a few quick things you can go ahead and add on here is going to be a black carpet on top of this right here for the funnel. And then on the back here, obviously, we do have that skeleton school that's in the way. Um, so I'll show you guys a couple options there for that. Um, but the first being here is you can go ahead and place down an item frame underneath the skull and then a black stingless paint in it. That will work. You can also delete the skeleton school and place down a black carpet there. Um, whichever you think works best. Um, but for me, I like this design right here. But again, that's going to be more of a Java player orientation. Um, so again, you'll just have to kind of mess with that to see what you like best and 
go from there but that right there is going to complete everything we have for layers 5 for 10 and that's going to complete my tutorial here for the admiral Falcon, part of the gosney class of um guided missile cruisers hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use if you do using this build i do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it this would be thank you from a sound the build to my channel or the video if this does a pretty social media sites as long as you guys give me proper credit for it you're free as a for projects you guys are working on um with that thank you guys again so much for watching as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe this is gary 204 and i'll see you guys next time.